positively affect crime. You need to remove or positively change one of the key ingredients to a crime actually taking place. So you always need a victim, you need an offender, you need a location and you need a time of day. I think most of you know that. Take one of those things away or affect them and actually you affect crime. This is how and why we see the development of county lands. So the drug markets in London are saturated. If you want to make money, if you want to make a profit, you send your boys out of town. You send them to Clacton, Jaywick, Southend, Margate, or up country to uh, Cambridge or Peterborough or Ipswich. What are problems going on there at the moment? Yeah? That's where you'll make the money. So that's why we have seen the development of county lines. I think it's important that um, we've got lots of people in the room that deal with all, all aspects of crime, prevention, social workers, the police. They're all here together and they're all working together to sort of deal with serious youth violence really. The Mayor and I's number one priority is tackling violence across London. I know that nobody in this room is reminding how absolutely vital and important it is for the families and communities that you either represent, you're working amongst, or you're delivering services to and with. And I know that um, over the last year, that across, across Barking, Dagenham, and Hayley and Redbridge, you've had some really dreadful and horrific events and the tragic loss of too many young lives across this local area. So Box Up Crime, um, I set up six years ago. You know, like I myself was a young person that grew up in the community, grew up in the Hartstein estate. I didn't have confidence in myself and I found confidence in getting involved in stupidness, like involved in gangs and all of that junk that a lot of young people are caught up in right now. So I understand where they're coming from, you know, and the whole uh, thing about Box Up Crime is to really help young people exit that lifestyle, you know, and really give young people an opportunity not to go down the negative route of gangs and uh, prison and murder, but give them an opportunity to go down the route of success and to be able to discover who they are and why they're on this planet. But young people, every young person has a dream. Every young person is meant to be someone, it's meant to be successful, you know. And what happens is the communities that they grow up in, the friends that they choose and the mistakes that they, uh, that they make, it misguides their dream. So that's why we, that's what, so we exist to rebuild misguided dreams. We work with young people to help say, you know what, we know you made a mistake, you know you've done wrong, but we're gonna, we're gonna walk shoulder to shoulder with you and we're gonna rebuild your dreams and we're gonna do this together. You know, and, and that's what Box Up Crime is about. We provide access to free boxing to young people. Uh, we, we, we set up outlets, we set up gyms where young people can walk in for free, they ain't gotta pay any money. What I take from the partnership work today is that everybody, everybody shares mine and the Mayor's priority to tackle violence because it's absolutely vital that we stop the harm that's happening to our communities and our families. I also take from today the amazing commitment of so many people and I'm optimistic that with the Mayor's investment, with the work of Barking and Dagenham, Havering and Redbridge, that we really will make a lasting difference to, to the violence in London.